y'all. Welcome back to the Because Adulting is Hard podcast. I'm Alita Caldwell, the owner of The Funky Monkey, as well as the host of this podcast. And this is my good friend, Christian Graffinino. You're back for the second time. I am back. I must not have run you off too bad. So we're going great there. So yeah, I'm super excited to have you back. For those people that haven't followed us before, tell us a little bit about who you are, what the name of your business is. And I know you have a cool course that's coming up. So I want to go ahead and talk about that in the beginning. Um, Today's topic is actually going to be body positivity. It's something that is very, very near and dear to my heart as well as it is to yours. And it's a hot topic in our society right now. So I'm I'm excited to dive into that. But let's get started with who you are first. Okay, great. Well, my name is Christian Graffinino and I own Infinite Image Consulting. I love helping people to build a wardrobe that they love from every day to the runway, because let's face it, we gotta get dressed every single day. So I do have a really great course coming up. Again, I'm wanting to help you build a wardrobe that you love. So in this four week wardrobe challenge course that is going to launch on April 11th. Um, We are going to be discovering your style. I'm going to help you how to do that. I'm going to help you how to build a wardrobe you love. I'm going to help you to get your closet organized and how to shop smarter, all based on your body shape and style to help you just build something that you love walking into your closet every single day. Because that can, that's going to very quickly lead into what we're going to talk about. Because when you're talking about body image and body positivity, it has so much to do with what you wear and um, and also how you present yourself on a daily basis. Yes. So I think that you're going to offer our listeners a special for this, right? Ruth, yes. Tell me about that. So when you go on to um, all the links that okay. you will have up there, if you use code FUNKY, you're going to get $50 off of this course. Sweet. And how long is that course? So it's a four week course and you can sign up today. Um, Signups will be actually through Monday the 11th. um, And um, that's when the course starts. I like that. I like that idea, and I also like what you're doing on your platform as you're teaching us how to build fashion. So let's let's get into today's topic. Okay, great. So. You've got a great starting point for there. For people that have been following us for a long time, body positivity is something that is is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. As a person that's lost 100 pounds twice and has struggled with probably more than I've ever vocalized to somebody outside of therapy, um, body positivity and body image is really a thing. So let's, let's dive into that. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, I know we often talk about that we live in an image driven society and we do. So I think it's important for us to just kind of take a step back and realize that those standards that they're putting out there are not really, you know, what they're saying beauty is, is not really what we should, what we need to relate and equal beauty as. We do need to learn the difference between what they're telling us looks great and what we actually know does look great and what, how we feel about that. And beauty is um, definitely like a state of mind, um, but it's not a state of your body. So I think it's it's important to, to, to learn that and to know that we're not gonna value our body over our being, right? That's more important. So, so let's let's step back a little bit there. So we are living in the day and time where the Kardashians are a thing. So you're, you're doing a particular look. You wanna have this particular shot. We're in the day and time of Instagram filters where, oh my gosh, yes. you can have a perfect face. You can have this, but that's not reality. And no. So, so let's get a little bit into, first of all, what are, you, what are you talking about when you mean body image, body positivity? So I just want people to be okay with where they are right now. That's what I want. I want you to understand that you are beautifully made, that God did not take uh, time to make a nobody. He made a somebody in you and that you're special. So there are so many different things and ways that we can um, help ourselves to believe that um, if we're not quite there in our minds, because our minds can be a pretty, a pretty tricky thing. There. It can be a pretty dark place. And I think I don't think that's a lot of things that we talk about openly as a society. As I've grown to be a healthier person, the verbiage that I've had run through my head has been very unhealthy. I mean, you look in the mirror and you tell yourself unhealthy things. If I only had this, I would be this. If I only did that, it would be. Oh, so a lot of it does really start with mindset. So let's go through the list of the things that you had. You have, of course. You have some really great tips I on do. how to help us slow that rhetoric down because yes. that's a lot of what it is. Just it what is. is running through your head on a continual basis. If you can flip that from right. a negative to a positive, yes. we can fundamentally change, in particular in women, yes. how we think of ourselves. Right, mm-hmm. and then that can lead to, to ha- having a better confidence um, with yourself, leading to more success. So here's what I want you to do. If you want to um, start appreciating your body more, um, and if you're in a little funk, I mean, that happens sometimes. So here's what I want you to do. The first thing is flip the script. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so I want and to practice gratitude. I want you to, if you find yourself in a funk, write down three things that you love about yourself, right? Just immediately write down three things, or maybe you can even start doing some journaling and write down 10 things that are not related to your body or your weight that you do love about yourself. When we practice this art of gratitude and appreciation, it really does help to change, change your mindset. So let's define that real quick. Let's say, what do you mean by funk? Let's get real about that. What does that okay. look like for you? So for me, what that means is I'm in my closet and nothing looks great on me. I don't really like how my clothes are fitting me because I've gained weight, right? So it could be like, ew, this is not this is not how I how I want to look today. I mean, literally this just happened yesterday. Woke up, my hair wasn't doing what I wanted it to. Okay? Like this is a real life. The struggle is real, yeah. The struggle mm -hmm. is real. Mm -hmm. And so um, I had to just take a break, take a take a breather. Take Take a moment and start to say, um, well, that actually kind of leads into the next thing mm -hmm. that I want to say is being kind to be kind to yourself. OK, I think that we talk to ourselves um, terribly sometimes if if my daughter, um, I don't have a daughter, but if if I was talking to my niece um, or a really good friend of mine called and said, hey, I'm having a bad hair day and I don't like this. There is no way that I would talk to her the way that I sometimes talk to myself. So be kind to yourself is actually my step two in that little process there on how to um, defunk yourself mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> whenever you're in that. OK, the next one is three is to use daily affirmations. Do you use daily affirmations? I actually have an affirmations app, so it pops up on my phone. Um, and so, yes, I do that because I'm, I'm a person that really has to focus on changing my mindset. And yeah. so being intentional in my thinking, um, I will connect that app up there. I can't remember exactly what it's called right now, but okay. there is a, it's a really great app and you set the timing on there and it actually pops up as banners. And then it, if you, once you've done it for a month, it prompts you to write your own affirmation. Oh, I love that. So then you're doing that flipping the script thing that yes. you're saying, turning something into a positive that may not have always been that way for me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So another thing that you can do just super simple, like you can even keep it as a calendar notice, a notification, mm -hmm. put a different one every single day and have an alarm, even if you want to do it that way. Have your alarm go off and you can do some daily affirmations. If you're not familiar with what some of those are, let me tell you a few that I think I love are this, awesome. Yeah. So think about what you love about yourself. Like, hey, I've got really strong legs or I really love my hair. It wasn't yesterday, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm changing my mindset. I have great hair. Um, I can do whatever I put my mind to. Those are some great ways to do some affirmations. Um, I'm freaking radiant. Okay, how about that? Yeah, I, I am awesome. <laughs> I am beautiful. Yes. You know, I am. I am capable. Yes, I am enough right mm -hmm. here, right now, exactly where I am today. I think that's very important to do those daily affirmations. It just puts your mind. Um, it gets you started on the right page. Get started on the right foot. And when you start your your day with a positive note, it can only continue to get more positive when you're thinking positively and you start it off that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so leading into the next one, my next tip that I have um, for whenever you're kind of feeling in a funk is to wear clothes that are comfortable that make you feel great, okay? When I meet with my clients, I always have them do a one to 10 scale, okay? One is like, Ugh, I don't really like this, and 10 is I feel great in this. If it doesn't reach a seven or higher, I don't want you wearing that, okay? So when you're in some kind of funk, put on a great outfit. It will change your mood going on again with clothes, something I want you to do is to get rid of clothes that don't fit you anymore. So it can be a separate part of your closet. It can be in a box. You can donate it. Um, you, whatever it is, just get it out of sight. When you walk into your closet, I want you again to build a wardrobe that you love. And one way you can do that is by getting rid of things that don't fit and flatter and moving them out of the way. So you're only focused on what you can wear when you walk into your closet. That's some precious real estate in there, it right? Is, it is. <laughs> so we really have to, to take the time to make sure that everything that we're wearing is, is comfortable, that we feel great in it, um, and that it's actually just working for us. Okay, the next thing is um, unfollow toxicity. Okay, go on a social media detox. If you're in a funk, maybe it's because you're consuming lots of these images that are not reality, um, are not what most people's reality are. So you can, uh, you know, that's TV social media, it could be um, magazines, whatever that is. Okay, this could be people. Okay, it's true. I mean, it could this be could actually be people detoxing as well. the people around you. And I actually have found not only have I detoxed people, but I knowingly and intentionally went out and followed people that promote body positivity and that have yeah. bodies that look like mine. Yes. I mean, you, know? you could absolutely build um, a Pinterest board with people who um, who promote body positivity. Create a Pinterest board of real women. Real women. <laughs> real women. 
that ha- that have hum- you know that have tummy hangover that their right. boobs they've they've yeah. nursed and they don't look the same anymore. It's a it's, thing. It is a thing. Mm-hmm. It, absolutely. So that's what I want you to do is to build some of those boards um, and to be able to uh, eliminate those people who are toxic um, and things that you watch that are toxic because whatever we put into our minds just feeds into our hearts and comes out as well. So you got to think about that. Um, the next thing I want you to think about um, if you're kind of in a funk is to move your body. Okay, moving your body helps so much to get us out of a funk. So work out because you want to feel good about yourself, not because you're trying to get a certain number on the scale. And my biggest tip is to find something that you love to do. Like I love to dance. That is one of my favorite, favorite things to do. So between um, going out to dance or maybe it's like lifting weights. I know some people like to roller skate as well. For sure. I and, And that's it. That's the same thing that I explain to people because people that have followed us for a long time know that I've been on this journey. To me, the first step not even altering the things that you're eating is making yourself move 30 minutes every day knowingly and intentionally because you are making a time for yourself you're making yourself a priority it's even to me it's even more than just the exercise it's the taking and plunking yourself at the top and saying i am i am important i am valued this time that i'm going to spend on myself is important it is and Mm -hmm. i honestly feel like it's one of the most reliable ways that we can uh, just feel good about ourselves and feel good about our bodies is whenever we move them going on to the next step i want you to set some measurable activity goals so we're not going to be worried about what the scale says, but we can start to measure like how many steps a day are we doing? Like Alita said, doing 30 minutes, or maybe it's something that we're doing for nutritional value, like making sure that we've got some greens on our plate at least once a day, you know, for the whole next week, whatever that is, just think about what those measurable activity goals are and put your progress based on that. Going on, I want you and y'all this, this one is hard. (laughs) This one's hard for me, but I want you to say thank you when someone says a compliment and then stop. You don't have to sit there and apologize why you're saying thank you or say all kinds of other things after. If someone gives you a compliment, say thank you and then keep that inside. Write that down in your affirmations or write that down in your journaling so that you can come back to those positive thoughts whenever you're having a bad funk or a bad moment. And finally, I want you to surround yourself with some positive and fabulous kind of people who help you to build that confidence that you deserve. And I think surrounding yourself by positive people, but also people that are open about um, their own struggles is a big thing for me. Not too open. I don't want the toxic people over there, but I mean, that are working in a positive manner to to uplift themselves and, and make themselves better. Um, so tell us where we can find you. Okay. Um, and we talked about the courses that you had at the beginning, yes. but tell us where we can find you and then we'll go ahead and close this out. Awesome. So you can find me online. I'm at www.infiniteimageconsulting.com. All the social media links are on there and you can follow me on Facebook um, and Instagram. So Christian's doing some really cool things over on her stuff. She's actually got a new shop coming up and she's got some really cool things. So if you're not following her, you should be um, because we're going to continue down this. I, I've made a commitment to myself as I was pulling up this podcast is to have real conversations and conversations about bodies are real yeah. because the struggle that not only women, but I, I, I've, I've come to learn men. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think I thought of it as a women thing, but men um, continue the, the, the rhetoric that we run through is just so hard. And, and it's personal. Part of my mission on this podcast is to have those real conversations. Absolutely. So I'm so grateful for your time. Do you have anything else you want to close us out with? I love your quote that you have on there. So I'm gonna give you that chance to say that. Thank again. you. Mm-hmm. I just want to make sure everybody knows that God did not take time to make a nobody. He made you somebody and feeling confident and being comfortable in your own skin is what makes you really beautiful. It is. I'm so grateful for your time. I'm looking forward to going forward and continuing to have these conversations. Thank you. Thank you so much, y'all, for joining us today. And remember to live happier because adulting is hard. And we will see y'all next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.